Hello game devs, welcome to another tutorial with Moments Online. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a platformer score with GDevelop 5. So check this out. Whenever my player collides with a coin, I gain 10 points. So I'm going to jump and gain another point and jump and gain another point. So with every collision, I get an extra point added to my total score. If you are interested, let's get into this video. To create your score for that of your platformer game, you want to add a new object and we want to add a text. So you go for text and then the object name you want to set to that of a score or any name you want that is just going to display the score. So right here, I'm going to go for a size of 100. You can also set the size as you would want. And then I'm going to change the font to Kenny Mini Square. And then the text are set to zero and go for apply. So with this done, I'm going to drag this onto the top of my game. So I have this set up. And I'm going to change the layer. So this originally is on the base layer. Everything over here is on the base layer. I'll change this to a different layer. To add a layer, you want to get right here to this icon. Open the layers editor and then go for that of add a layer once you click on that a new layer is going to appear right here on top you can just change the name to hud but you can tell i already have hud right here below so i cannot create it just as you see this name is already taken so i'll delete this i just wanted to show you guys how to get that done so with this i'll just set up my score text i'll click on that and then go for hud so now I have my score text set up on a different layer than the rest. I'll do the same for the rest of my other icons on top of my screen. So this is HUD. This is also HUD. This is also HUD. Okay. So now i'll get into events and we are going to add our events for that of our score so add a new empty event and then the first thing you want to add is collision so go ahead go for collision you can find that under common conditions for all objects or you can just search for it so i'll go for collision i'll go for collision right here and then i use my player headbox you can choose to use your player directly but to me, the best is player hitbox. And then I'll go for the second object, which is the coin. So my player hitbox is going to collide with that of my coin. Now go for OK. Right here, I'll go for add action. So whenever my player collides with the coin, I want there to be an increase in the value of my score. So I'll go for add action, go for variables. And then I'm going to use value of a scene variable. But you can also use value of a global variable if you are going to use your score across multiple levels since this is a tutorial and i'm using it for only one level i'll go for value of a scene variable and then go for score so you can type in here any name that you want to use modification sign i'll go for that of an add and then the value for each collision of a coin i'll set that to 10 you can set that to any number and go for OK. So with this, I'm going to add a trigger once while to right underneath my first condition. So I'll click on add condition and type in my search trigger. So right here, I have trigger once while to. I'll click on that and go for OK. So with this, I have most of my event setup but i want to add a delete coin because whenever i collide and i get a score 10 i want to delete the coin so i'll type in here delete go for delete coin so with this setup you want our score which is score 10 to be displayed on the text that we have within our display or shall i say the new scene 
so i'll go right here to add a new event and then directly i'll go for add action now i'll scroll downwards and go for text object so you want to do the same thing um, modify the text is what you are going to use so the text that we want to modify is the score the modification sign set to and then you want to go for the value so you can go directly to this button and click on it and then variables you want to go for text of a scene variable that is if you are using a scene variable but if you are using a text so if you are using a global variable you want to go for text of a global variable so right here i'll go for text of a scene variable and then my variable is core i'll go for apply and go for that of okay so with this i have almost everything set up i just have to add a sound to that of my coin so i'll go for add a sub event and then i just want to add a sound so i'll go for add action type in here sound so play a sound is what i'm going to use for that of my sound right here i have handle coins so i'll just go for that and then click on ok so now with every collision that my player has with that of my coin i'm going to score at 10 points and then i'm going to hear a sound so let's check this out now for each collision my player gains 10 points so right now i have a 20 a 30 and then a 50. so this is how to add a platformer score to that of your platformer game thank you very much for watching and i'm going to see you in my next video keep creating game devs